Okay, so I'm copying the same file into this folder so I can do the same thing. This time I'm going to do it all with T Shark. Okay, break down the traffic by protocol. Interesting. Okay, break down of traffic by session and host. Okay, same stuff I already looked at. Now we can also break this down by unique sources and unique destinations. So just let me change this to DF. Now we get that. Okay, so only one unique host. There you go. Much better. All right, that's what we needed. Okay, Google lookups. Oh boy. Went to exploitdb.com. Went to seclist.org. Went to Shodan. Generally, your blue teamers are defensive minded people, and their goal is oftentimes to uh, find malware in a network. You know, so let's kind of start from the perspective of a security person who's being tasked with going to another network and trying to figure out what's going on out there. So that's what I'm going to do right here. So I've gone to this other network, right? And we've got a paste bin where all the commands that we're going to be using come from. Okay. The second thing that you're going to have to do is you're actually going to have to build Suricata, right? Suricata is an intrusion detection system and you're going to see me extract it. You're going to see me build it. That's what the compiling is for. So configure. This prepares it to be installed on your Linux machine. You want to compile it, install it into the correct directories. Then you want to pull down the rules files and move them into the correct directory. Let me show you what I mean. All right. Woohoo! All right. So compilation is done moving the installation things into the appropriate directories. That's what all this stuff down here is. So we'll jump into the rules directory. And when you look in these rules directory, can you see all these files that have the extension dot rules? I can help you learn about who we are and hopefully if you're willing to join us, um, this is InfoSec Addicts.